Hey friend, I am so glad you clicked on this video today because I want to share something with you that has been pressing on my heart lately. It's about, you know, believing what God has promised you. Now, I know that might sound simple, you know, believe of what God has said, but sometimes, you know, life has its way to shaking our faith. Sometimes when things don't go maybe the way we planned, we were faced maybe with obstacles or uncertainty, it's hard to hold on to God's promises. But I want to remind you today that God is faithful. He has never broken a promise and never will. His word is true, his promises are real, and they're meant for you you the person that's you right there on the other side of this uh screen he that is you my friend so without further ado let's dive into this further depth of god's promise for you let's start with the foundation of it all and that is god's promises are unshakable you see, God isn't like us. He doesn't make promises he can't keep. In Numbers verse 23 to 19, uh, it says, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not make it good? Isn't that powerful? Like, God doesn't change his mind. He has spoken, you know, something over your life, essentially. He will make it happen in his perfect timing. So, uh, whatever God has promised for you, whether it's, you know, peace in the mindset of chaos, you know, provision when things are tight, or healing when there's brokenness, his word will not return void and who knows maybe right now you're in a season where it feels like his promises is very distant uh, you've been waiting you know praying hoping but you just don't see any changes yet in your life and i 100 percent get it you know waiting could be very hard but here's what i want you to know the waiting doesn't mean that God has forgotten you. Sometimes God's promises, you know, take time to unfold like a Christmas present, for example, but not because he's delaying things, but because he's, you know, preparing you for something much, much, much greater. And that's why we got to be patient and trust his timings. Next thing I want to talk about faith and the power of faith in God's promises. Believing in God's promises takes faith. In Hebrews 1.11.1 tells us that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Basically what this verse is saying is that faith is basically trusting in God's promises even when you can't you know see how it will come all together it's trusting that he's working behind the scenes orchestrating everything for your good and his glory maybe you're facing a situation right now that seems nearly impossible maybe you've been you know praying for a breakthrough or for healing or for a change in your circumstances and you're just not seeing it anytime soon friend this is where faith ultimately comes in faith isn't about pretending everything is perfect it's about knowing that even in the imperfectionist god is still moving it's about declaring i may not see it now but i believe god is working on my behalf i believe his promises are coming to pass and i trust him with the process when you stand firm in faith you're basically saying god i trust you more than what i can see with my eyes i believe you are greater than my circumstance and that kind of faith is what moves mountains here's something i've learned that i want to share with you and the next topic the third topic is you need to speak god's promises over your life there's power in your words in proverbs verse 18 21 it says the tongue has the power of life 
and deaf. So what are you speaking over your situation? Are you speaking words of doubt? Are you saying things like, oh, I don't know if this will ever happen, or uh, maybe God's forgotten about me? Or are you declaring God's promises even when it feels tough? I want to encourage you to start speaking life over yourself, over your family, over your future. Uh, take the promises God has given you in his words and declare them out loud. For example, if you're feeling anxious, you know, speak Philippians first four to six to seven, which is it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When you declare God's promises, you're reminding yourself of his truth. And more than that, you're positioning yourself to receive the fullness of his blessings. One of the most beautiful things about God's promise and the fourth topic is that God's promises are personal. God's promises are not just, you know, general statements meant for everybody else. They're actually meant specifically for you the promises in the bible were written for all of god's children yes but they were also written with you in mind in jeremiah 1 29 11 it's one of those verses we've all heard many times it's the one that states for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future but have you ever thought about how personal that is God ultimately knows your plans. He knows your future. He's not just speaking to a crowd. He's specifically speaking to you directly. And it's not just Jeremiah 1st 29 to 11 when God says in Romans 1st 8 to 28 that all things work together for the good of those who love him. That includes your situation. That means and even, you know, in your challenges, that means that even in your challenges, even in your pain, God is, you know, waving something beautiful all together. He's writing your story and his promises are woven into every single chapter. The next thing I want to talk about in the fifth topic is trust God's promises, even in the uncertainty. I know that sometimes or maybe a lot of times, let's be honest here, life feels very uncertain. Sometimes we face, you know, seasons that don't make any sense whatsoever. And it's easy to question, God, are you really going to come through? Uh, are you really going to do what you have promised me? But friend, even in the uncertainty, even when the road ahead seems very unclear, I want you to hold on to this truth. God is faithful even when you don't understand his ways. Uh, we can trust his heart. We can trust that every single promises he has made will come to pass. In Deuteronomy first 31 to 6, it tells us that be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. That's God's promises to you today. No matter what you're facing, he is with you along the way. He hasn't forgotten you. He hasn't abandoned you and he never will. So here are my final thoughts and the themes are belief and trust. I want to start to encourage you, you know, believe what God has promised you. Even if it seems very distant, even if it feels impossible, God's promises are sure. His, you know, words are unshakable 
and his love for you is unchanging. Take the time to meditate on his promises. Speak to them over your life. Hold them close to your heart and let them be the anchor that grounds you when life ultimately feels overwhelming. God has such great things for you. You know, trust that he's working on them behind the scenes, even however long you have to wait for it. Believe that his promises are true and they are for you, my friend. God bless you and thank you for taking a few moments out of your day to check out this video. I pray that this message encouraged you, you know, and if it did, feel free to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Uh, and also the comments are there if you want to continue the conversation, whether it's feedback, advice, any input or any suggestion topics you would love for me to tackle on in a future video. I'm more than happy to read, listen, and respond. I'm Adam representing Team SOS. In case I don't see you on the next one, make sure you have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening, and most importantly, good night. God bless you. Stay safe, be safe. Adam is signing off, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.